Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Vintage Story, shall we? Well, we're rocking and rolling in our Complete Beginner's Guide here. Welcome back. We have some jobs to do. We have some large hides that we've collected, and we'd love to get these cured, but of course, to do that... We're going to need um, some animal fat. Now, this is working, getting cured, as is this getting cured. So, I'm going to put these hides in our pack and just wait till we get some animal fat. Seems reasonable. Looks like I'm a little hungry. I'm going to take out some food uh, that we made, eat it, and uh, I'm going to put the bowl over there. And I don't think I have any more food. I think all of our food... Well, I have food in these containers, but I don't think I have any food uh, prepared except for this red meat. So what we're going to do is take out this red meat. And uh, we're going to make some stew. I think that's just the best thing to do. So let's go ahead and get, uh, let me open this and just put these, the firewood here. And let me select this and pick that up and then put that on there. We're going to open this up and we can just, um, go ahead and do that. And we can make it super hefty. So if we use just all four of the red meat we got right here, what we can do is make some hefty red meat stew. So remember, you have to distribute this evenly when you're cooking in your cook pot. You can do it with minimum two ingredients, and I could put like vegetables or berries over here, but I'm just gonna use all this meat to make some really, really hearty stuff, okay? Now we've got firewood, so all I have to do is right click to take it one at a time, shift, um, and, oh, actually control and click, to remove a big pile of it there you go and then let me just kind of add this on here and then we'll just use a torch and light this up bam and we're cooking we do have an axe mold over here um, that's raw we are firing our pickaxe mold and let's go ahead and pick this up and fire this while we're waiting shift um, oops we got to select it first of course Number six, shift, put it in there. We need some grass. And let's see what we've got in the world of grass. Well, that's plenty. And then we would like some sticks. And we, we don't have enough sticks at the moment unless I have more somewhere else. But we can start this up. And we're just going to fill that up with that. Uh, and uh, we're going to need uh, a, a bunch more sticks. And that's always the case. But if you, I recall anyway, we were uh, killed. And we had to come back. And now it's time to lick our wounds. And just, you know, go back with adventuring. We have a ton of spears. So that's tremendous. Our inventory looks pretty good. Uh, we have this shovel we can take. We have an axe. Uh, we have a knife to skin. And we have one, two, three, four spears uh, to go. We don't need all these spears on the hot bar. We can put these up here, by the way. And I'll put my torch back over here. Uh, and this looks really, really good. I mean, the stick. I'm going to get more sticks. I need to go into the woods and get sticks anyway. How's this doing? This is working on it. I might want to put some more wood over here. I'm just going to control click and open this up and just kind of uh, hold alt, drag these woods, put them on here. Make sure we get this fire hot enough to cook. There we go. All right. So that is going. I don't want to go too far away while that's cooking. Uh, but let's see if any of our berries, our bushes, are uh, ready. Eight days. Seven days. Eight days. Huh. I wonder. Maybe I picked them all. That wouldn't make sense, though, because... Uh, I don't know if any of my timers were set. I thought they were closer than that. Now, I did update the game to 
17.3, I believe. So I don't know if when you do something like that, if anything is reset at all or not. I do know that there were a bunch of um, animals up in this direction by the trader. Uh, and while I'm just cooking, I'm going to go out here and gather some sticks. You know, one thing that I really, really can't wait to acquire uh, is to start getting copper so that we can get some really fun stuff like, for example, I'm going to put these sticks on the action bar so I can use them to gather more sticks and just get myself a visual indicator for how many sticks I have. You can craft shears out of copper, and what those allow you to do is cut leaves and just trim off branches, right? Like you're just trimming branches. And you see how when I'm hitting the leaves right now, I don't always get a stick. Like sometimes I do, great, you know? But sometimes you don't. But when you have shears, you uh, bash through this stuff super fast, and you're almost always guaranteed um, a stick, it feels like, or the drop rate is just way higher. So it's just a super fast method for running around and collecting sticks, which is tremendous because, as you can see, you know, getting, getting sticks sometimes can be onerous. Now, these are pine leaves, by the way. I just want to point that out. And when you're getting sticks, there's only one type of stick. But with logs, um, there is definitely... Uh, you'll get a different stack for different types of lumber. So it's harder to carry around multiple stacks of lumber. But with something like sticks, you're good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. All right. Now we've got a nice big stack of 28 sticks. It's getting dark, as you can see. There's a rift over there. So something I'd love to do is find, uh, before it gets too dark, is just get some sand or some gravel or something in our house, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. It's uh, it's already getting quite dark. It's already 7 p.m. Uh, I'm going to go back in our house and check on our cooking. I don't want to waste too many fire, many logs here. It's done, so we can take off the, the wood and take this out. Um, I'm going to just kind of put that in there for now, and I can set this on the ground. And for the time being, I am just going to kind of set that right there. And then with the firewood, I can just push shift uh, control and just right click and add it. And then we can add the sticks. Actually, I need firewood for that. So there's that. I'm going to go out and I am going to look just for a moment for some gravel or something else to work with sand maybe clay got plenty of clay I guess but I always like having a project that I can just kind of while away on while I'm while it's night uh, that looks like an animal over there Is it? It is. It's, uh... Oh, man. Almost. That's another wolf. Boy, I'm having bad luck with these wolves. Uh, I'm gonna try to get this. Man. I'm having bad luck with that too. Pick up all your spears. All right, and the wolf is not actively engaging us. Here we go. Oh, that 
Hey, Sandoval, I think we're only one hit away. Wow. Boy, that thing lived a lot longer than I expected, but we got it. And what we're going to do is get all our spears back. And we're going to take out our knife, and we're going to just shift and harvest. I would really like... This is a dead bighorn ewe, so I'd love to get some fat off of this. And we didn't. But it's okay because um, we did get a bunch of meat to eat and more leather. All right, so let's go home. And I'm going to actually be sprinting home, by the way. I'm holding control, and I'm running quickly because it's getting dark. And I don't want to get killed. I had an experience in my um, Let's Play that I, the account that I stream on, the account that's further than this, where I died, and in this game, if you die and you don't get back to your body within 10 minutes, you will lose all the items. They despawn. So, you know, when we got killed by the wolf last time, we knew exactly where we were and it was no problem. We got everything back. We, we really didn't lose that much. But you can get into a bad spot where you lose a lot more than you'd like. So I've learned a great lesson about being careful what I carry with me, um, being better at combat. So we're going to start making hunting pillars, things like that. And also just having a better awareness spatially of where I am on the map so that I don't lose my location. It's hard to do that when you are running at full speed, but one of the things you need to know is like when you die, there is no indicator of your corpse. There's just items that are floating on the on the world map basically for you to go pick up. So that's just something to pay attention to. All right. Now we are here. Let's go ahead and get some fire wood uh, going so that I can fire up this mold uh-huh and we'll just light it up great and I can't wait to burn myself on that okay so in the meantime we have um, six servings of red meat stew in that now I'm gonna see if I can um, pick up my uh, I'm carrying right now okay a crock right and if I right click on the pot the crock doesn't work oh no it did work what am I talking about it's right there it's got four servings in it fantastic the the mistake that I sometimes make in this game is figuring out what order you need to do in things and so I want to demonstrate this for you here if I was holding the pot and the crock was on the ground and I right clicked on the crock I believe that it would not transfer the food but with the pot on the ground and the crock in my hand I can transfer the food by right clicking so some interactions do not go both ways uh, the reason I'm putting stuff in the crock by the way is because it will preserve it for longer oh and Oh, no, look, I can actually, I did. I just sat, sat right there and put it both ways. So that's tremendous. You know, I think it might be different with a bowl versus a pot. Anyway, I will just recommend to all of you, if you ever have difficulty trying to get an interaction to work, you just open up the guide or you check the wiki or you switch the sequence that you're doing it in to be sure that it works in that order. All right. So we're firing these things up. We've got a good amount of food. I even have more food to make, honestly. So I can just go here and I can uh, right click on this and we can just put all this red meat in like that. And this will not work because it's not even, right? So I'm gonna take this out. But before I do, I wanna just open this up and poke my head around and see if I have um, any berries that I'm storing. I have a raw crock that I need to fire. You know, I don't appear to have anything like that. 
So given that, we'll go plant these maple seeds. Uh, we want to stack things of the same type together to save space, of course. Mm-hmm. Okay. So then what we want to do is very simply go over here and go into our inventory and we'll just break this up like so and then we'll make this into a stack of four and this into a stack of four and then by doing that we can make four servings of red meat stew now we can't then make this hearty unless we were to do this and make two servings of hefty by going across like that and I think I think that's totally reasonable um, to do it that way okay and I'm going to then put this wood on here and we'll save the rest of the meat by putting the meat in here now look at this this meat will perish in 1.4 days but if I put it in there it goes up to 4.6 days in the storage vessel so that's just how tremendous storage vessels are for preserving your food and why we built them. Not only are they just bigger than the baskets, so they hold a bunch and it's beautiful that way. They just preserve your food for longer. Okay, so what jobs do we want to work on now? All right, well, we have a few things we can, we can take care of. We have a raw bowl and a raw crock that we want to fire. Okay, that makes sense. We have a bunch of good medium quality soil. Okay. A bunch of logs. Interesting. And we have a uh, bone that we can grind, but we need to make a cairn. Now, I will show you this. Um, oops, I didn't mean to drop that. I want to open up the guide and I want to look at cairn. And. We can make a basalt cairn because there's basalt all around us. And this we can use to grind flour or to grind the bones into uh, a paste that we can use as a fertilizer. But we're going to need a pickaxe to do that. So we have to wait for the that to fire up. Now also, we have a crucible that's done, right? Let me look at this. This is cooking. I might need some more wood. Okay. And uh, I could put more wood on here to make sure that we get there. I'm going to dig and see how deep I can go inside my own house before I encounter trouble. Um, this is muddy gravel, so not really what we are looking for at the moment. Okay. Good. All right, that's the way up. And this is done cooking, so we'll take that out. And we'll take this off. So one thing we're going to need to do, if we want to fire, if we want to melt um, our copper down, so that we can make the pickaxe that we've created the mold for, is we're going to need to make charcoal. Okay. So we can actually make charcoal right here inside our house, and I think it'll be fun to show you how to do that. It is nighttime. What time is it? Yeah, it's midnight, so we have plenty of time. You want to build your charcoal in a place that's very large if you can. But you can also, if you are tight on space, like we're going to be in this example, make a charcoal pit that is just two by two. Okay, so if I go in here and I go into charcoal, okay, and I say crafting mechanic charcoal burning, you'll see that there is a whole list about how to make a charcoal pit, all right? And so what we have to do is fill it with big stacks of firewood. We leave one square open. We put a fire pit on that. We light it, and then we cover up the hole with the fire pit with blocks, and eventually it will take the stacks of firewood and burn it, and it'll get so hot that it will become charcoal, which is the burning ingredient that we need on the fire pit to get it hot enough to smelt metals okay so what we'll do is we'll use our peat first put it on the fire and the peat will allow us to get it 
um, to around 800, I believe. Uh, maybe 900, I can't remember the exact number. But we get it up there, and it will plateau. Then the, the peat will take it to a certain intensity, and once we get it, the heat to that level, we can replace it with charcoal, and that will carry us the next step of the way to melting the metal so that w in our crucible so that we, we can then pour the melted metal ore from the crucible into one of our finished molds and make a copper tool, okay? So let's do this. I'm going to open this, and I'm going to open this, and we're just going to take the maple logs, for example, and we're going to use our obsidian axe, and we're just going to shift-click this to make as much firewood as we can, and we're going to do it one more time. Put it here, shift-click. All right, now we have stacks of 32, which what we can do is just select this firewood like this. And we can select this over here. And we can select this over here. Okay, and let me, let me just get all the firewood out like this. Great. And then we're going to select this, and we're going to push Shift and Control. And we're just going to stack up a whole firewood there. It takes 32 firewood to make one square of a stack, okay? So one cube, one block is full with that, all right? We're gonna jump over. I'm doing everything indoors just so I'm not bothered by enemies, but this is better to do um, outside with a bigger pit if you have it, or inside if you have a bigger house, but we don't. Okay, so now we have all of this uh, stacked up and we need to use blocks, okay? So we need to take blocks and put one here, put one there, and then we're going to put a block uh, there, there. Oh, I messed it up. Okay. Be careful of this. I, I'm glad I did that. Um, sometimes when you're right-clicking and you're trying to place blocks, if you don't aim it correctly on these stacks of firewood, what ended up happening was, I don't know how easily you can see this. Let me get a torch out so it's clearer. I actually ended up taking a stack of firewood off of this. And you need the stacks to be complete to accurately make the charcoal. So I need to select this again, and then I need to um, push shift and right click to fill it back up. Now they're full, okay? Now select your block, and don't select on the firewood. Select a kind of on the block adjacent above it like that, like where my crosshair is like that, to make sure you don't do that, okay? And then we select that. We leave one square open, this square right here. And then what we're gonna do is build a fire pit. We do that with grass. We just take the grass like this, and we shift-click this right there. We start a fire pit, and then we take these logs, and we shift, 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 right-click until we get a fire pit like that. It's all done. Once that's done, okay, we're going to take our torch and light it like this. Uh, we're going to shift, right-click it until it lights, okay? Once it's lit, we have, we have to do this really quickly because you're timed. We're going to put a block there and a block there okay to cover it up now step back and look at your charcoal burning pit if you see the smoke coming out evenly like it is right here you see how the smoke is just kind of calmly coming out you know that you've done this correctly it will take a full game a full in-game day to burn this correctly okay so with a two by two you just need one exposed square like that then you put the fire pit in there, you light it, and then you have to cover the top of the brick that has the fire pit in it, and you're setting all these logs on fire to turn them into charcoal. And this will just keep smoking. Once it stops smoking, then you can remove this and break up the logs underneath and get charcoal, all right? So we have charcoal going, which is tremendous. It's three in the morning. Okay, so let's see what else we want to do. These are still burning away. I do have a pot of food on me, right? That will perish in 5.7 days. So what do we do? Well, here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to select this, and I'm going to... Um, oops. Uh, yep, that's <laughs> classic. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I'm going to put this down over here shift click to put it down and then um actually i'm gonna put it down like that and then grab this and right click it with that because i don't know if you saw but what ended up happening when i tried to right click on my 
crock, it just picked it up with the food. So sometimes that kind of things happens, and you just kind of, I just, you know, juggle things around until it works. So now the food is out of the pot, and I can shift click and put this down, and you'll see um, that I have these items. Now, if I hold it over it, the fired crock, you see it goes up to 6.7 days, so it lasts for two days longer in the fired crock than just exposed in the bowl like that. Now we have a bunch of stored food, and we're just doing really, really well with respect to that. I'm going to eat this uh, red meat. Fantastic. I'm going to put that bowl back. Okay, so now you know what our next plan should be. It is this. Uh, first of all, let me put these bones away. And what I would like to do is get a garden going. We might not be able to finish it right now, but I want to start it so I can start putting vegetables into my food and my diet, because you can see my diet right now. It has some vegetables because um, the cattail roots count as vegetables. Uh, and we have some fruit because we're eating berries and we have some protein, but I want to have a nice balanced diet, right? So we have cabbage seeds and even more cabbage seeds, to be honest, which is tremendous. So we could start growing some cabbage. And when we find more food in the, in the wild, we can use that to expand our garden, all right? But another thing you need for a garden is a fence. So we want to build just a really, really um, rough fence. So it'll be called a rough hewn fence. And it's just out of wood, right? And you just need two sticks, two logs, and an axe to make that. Now, what's, watch this. This is what's cool about this process. All right, we're going to take um, the logs and we've got some sticks. And let me look at the recipe again. Uh, and, yep, right here, it's, okay, the sticks go in the middle and the logs go on the outside. So it's kind of like this, and then like that, and then we'll take our axe and put it right here. Now, it makes eight at a time, okay? For just one, um, for two sticks and two logs, you make eight sections of fence. So it's actually pretty economical. I'm just going to make um, 32 and that should be enough for me right now for a meager garden. It's more for educational purposes because we don't have great fertilizer. We don't have a lot of crop, but it's something we want to start setting up. Now it is five in the morning, so the drifter should be eventually leaving us alone. We have a pine cone. Do we have anything else we want to use for this process? Well, I'll tell you something we need for this process. While we're waiting, um, I have some obsidian. Uh, I need a hoe. I don't have one. So let's take the obsidian and shift, shift, and uh, let's make a hoe head. All right. And then we're just going to kind of um, nap this out. Remember, you don't have to nap all of the squares, just the squares that are around the object that you're cutting. So once I hit that, we've got it. And we just take this and we combine it with a stick. And we've got a hoe that we can use. And we're thrilled about it. You hear all the groaning has stopped because our buddies, the tireless drifters, have dispersed. They don't like the daylight. All right. I'm going to put back all of my stuff, my grass and things like that. I do have... Uh, let's see. This is working on being cured okay all right and how much uh, I have 25 pieces of that okay good so here's the deal uh, I'll open the door and yep there's the oh no he's coming back all right let's just let him go yeah he threw a stone at us what a jerk honestly like if he wants to go I mean we can give him more than what he wants I don't think he wants to fight it's a little early. Like, once the sun gets brighter, he'll he'll leave. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me just make sure we don't have anything 
in our inventory that we don't want. Here's a little bit more soil. Great. Uh, this is These are tree seeds. We can plant these. I don't need to be storing these. There's no purpose for me doing that. And here's my cabbage seeds if I want to plant them. I'm not sure yet. And here's more medium soil. And here's the maple seeds. Great. Okay. I don't think I'm actually going to plant anything right now. I think I'm just going to start blocking it out. Because I, I want to use fertilizer of some kind. All right. And he's over there, but I think he's retreating. Okay. So here's our berry patch, right? And there's a drifter and he's leaving. And there's another drifter and he's leaving. And here's our outside. Now we're working on expanding our house uh, to incorporate this section eventually. But for the time being, let's talk about a garden. So your garden needs to be next to water uh, in order to stay moist. And it needs to be, I believe... Oh, what was that? A drifter? Are you kidding? Come on, man. It needs to be within two squares of water to get full hydration, and then I think it drops off every square after that. Um, but let me look at uh, farming. Um, planting crops within three blocks of water will help them maintain. Okay, it needs to be within three blocks. Great. Uh, so we want to plant our stuff within three blocks, but... We need to have a fence all the way around it, otherwise rabbits will eat our crops, which, you know, is just a bad scene. You don't want to be, like, trying to grow food that you're trying to rely on and then have some rabbit ruin your life. By the way, I don't even need to use medium fertility soil uh, at the moment because all of this is already medium fertility soil. So we lucked out. It's a very fertile area. I'm just going to start blocking this out with the wall of the fence okay and we can make our garden about um well actually we can't put this here uh this has to go we need it to be closer to the water actually you know what we can do here's what i'll do i'm just going to dig this out and make this water here so the water gets closer to it then we can just keep doing what we are doing this is the end of it right and so we can go three blocks over so let's do that. Okay. And this would be one... One of the blocks is taken up by the fence, unfortunately. So I'm just going to keep doing this like this. Okay. And now we have... Uh, this will be the front because of where the water is. Like this. And I'm going to chop... You can't... <laughs> you can't jump over this. Um... So what you need to do is build a door. So we're going to build that. So I'm going to push H, and I'm just going to say fence, door. Uh, oops. Uh, here we go. Uh, gate. Yeah. So it's fence, gate, and we just say what's the recipe. And um, uh, we, we can't build a fancy gate like that because you need uh, planks. We don't have planks. Um, but we can build a uh, worse fence gate, can't we? Yes, here we go. Um, let me just make a bad gate. Rough hewn gate, this is what we want. So it takes an axe in the corner, four sticks like that. Like that. And then uh, we need logs, which I cleverly didn't bring any logs, but that's okay. All I have to do is uh, close this and go back and get them. I'm going to leave my crafting window open like this so we can easily... Just pick up logs and throw this in there, right? So we'll just kind of fill all the other squares with logs. And we're going to make uh, two gates, and that's plenty. And I'm just going to push escape, close everything, and we're going to put these gates over here onto our bar. Joy. And I'm going to put a gate, like, right there, okay? And you can just right-click on it, and now you're in. Then, I'm just going to show you what we would... Whoops, that is not the right button. Here we go. I'll show you. 
you right click and we're tilling it. So you just right click with the hoe and you start tilling this up. And you gotta break the grass that's on there. You can cut it with your knife if you wanna gather it or a scythe if you have one. Get that out of there, get that out of there. And great, now we have a little plot for a small garden that is uh, perpetually moist and is protected from bunnies as long as we don't let them get up here. So we have to destroy this little ridge so that nobody just jumps in from being on elevated ground like that. And now we are set. So this looks ter terrific. But I'm not going to actually plant anything in our garden right now because um, I want to wait until I get fertilizer, either from getting a cairn with the basalt and grinding the bones into fertilizer or from saltpeter if we find it uh, in a cave somewhere. So at this point, we have um, made charcoal and we're firing two kilns. We got a bunch of food together and we are continuing to make terrific progress. We're curing some leather hides. So our food is secure and we've got our sticks taken care of. And now it's time to prepare to go out into the wild and continue um, expanding our home and looking for copper. Like we are just looking for metal uh, and any other oddities that we might find out there. I'm gonna put all my fence material away. I don't need it right now. I could put these logs away. Uh, this medium fertility soil, I do not need it. And then, I'm gonna open this and put this away as well. We can fire these when, it's, when the time comes. I'm gonna go outside and I'm just gonna select all of these uh, tree seeds and I'm gonna show you how to plant these. So all you need to do with a tree seed, if you want to plant it, is just go someplace on the map where you'd like a tree and then shift right click it and it's planted. You do not need to till the land. Um, you know, you want to make sure you do give it space. And eventually these will grow. It says it will sprout in about three days. So now we have some more trees coming in. Uh, so that we can have some, you know, sticks and things close by if we like. And we're doing beautifully. Everyone, this is a good place to end the episode. Um, I am very pleased with our continued progress. I want to get more cobblestone when we can. But slow and steady wins the race. And the first thing we you, you always want to do in this is just secure your food and your lodgings. We've done that. We've got the basic tools. And now we're getting ready to upgrade our tools to the next tier. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're finding this educational, informative. Please post any comments or tips, suggestions, things I uh, messed up on, which are legion, I'm sure, in the comments below. Uh, so the, this guide can stand for anyone who wants to get into this game. And they can learn not only from me, but from the wiser people who uh, are in the comments exactly how to go about approaching this game's steep difficulty because once you do it's just such a beautiful game take care everyone